Hi, I'm Justin Thames, Director of Governmental Affairs for the Florida Institute of CPAs. And this is Impact Report for Day 60 of the 2018 Legislative Session. Day 60 should have been the last day of the Legislative Session, but the legislatures had to extend until Sunday in order to give the budget its required 72-hour cooling off period. On Sunday, we expect they'll take the budget up and pass it and send it to the governor, where he'll have 15 calendar days to either sign it or use his veto powers. Once he's made his final decisions, the budget will take effect on July 1. Included in the $89 billion budget is $400 million in school safety funding, roughly $20 million in hurricane-related funding, and in particular for the FICPA, two provisions that we worked on this session. One is the continued funding for the Clay Ford Scholarship, which helps fifth-year accounting students, and also the uh, funding to help combat unlicensed activity around the state. Now here's a couple updates on some of the bills we've been keeping you abreast of throughout the session. One, the financial literacy bill. Doesn't look like the bill is gonna pass again this year. This is the fourth year that uh, Senator Huckel has tried to make taking a financial literacy course a mandatory requirement for high schoolers. Uh, we do anticipate the bill to be back again next year. Hopefully it will get done. Uh, another uh, bill that didn't pass this year is some uh, language for local government uh, audit requirements and the um, audit committees for local governments. Uh, that bill was put through by Representative Metz. Uh, it also included some language on the deadline for the annual audits to be prepared for local governments. We don't anticipate those bills will pass today either. Uh, one note that I'd like to make is that we'd like to say a special thank you to our uh, representatives that are leaving the House of Representatives. Representative Michael Baleka, who's turned out. Representative David Richardson, who's going to be running for Congress. And Representative Joe Gruders, who's now going to be running for the Senate. Uh, we want to thank you all for all your hard work on behalf of the CPA profession during your time in the House of Representatives. And we wish you the best of luck uh, moving forward in your careers and the next steps. So that's it for Impact Report, the last day of regular session. We'll be back next week to give you another update on all the bills and everything else that we've been monitoring and let you know how it all finally shaked out. Thanks again and appreciate all your support.